Hey everybody, George Duran here, and I am ready to show you guys how to make tamales. That's right, those little uh, corn meal thingies that you find in the corn husks and they're steamed. I'm telling you, it's one of the easiest recipes ever. But I'm putting a little twist to it like I always do. This time I'm going to teach you how to make pumpkin pie tamales using the Emusa steamer. So, why don't we begin? The first thing you need to do is take care of the corn husks. Dried corn husks like these can be found in most gourmet supermarkets. Before starting the recipe, place them in a large pot or bowl of warm water using something heavy to keep them submerged. So let's put this aside so that we can concentrate on the tamales. Start by placing all your dry ingredients in an extra large bowl. Okay, I'm going to add some of this maseca in here. Maseca is a cornmeal flour that you can find in a lot of Latin supermarkets. So don't be afraid to look really well because it's really easily found right now. To that, I'm going to add the brown sugar ground ginger, ground cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, and you want to mix that with your hands. Now you see these clumps of brown sugar? You want to break that down with your fingers and make sure that it's nice and smooth and evenly all mixed up. Make sure you wash your hands, of course. Mix all the dry ingredients together. All right, folks, we're ready for our wet ingredients. And all I'm going to add here is some butter. I'm going to take some of this pumpkin puree, and you're not using pumpkin pie mix, you're using pumpkin puree. And some warm milk. And you want to work this through with your fingers until you have the consistency of peanut butter. Just like this. Alright, and this is what you want. This is perfect. This is your base of your pumpkin tamale. To this we're going to add some chopped walnuts and fold in some of these raisins as well. and Just use a spatula to fold that through. So we're ready with our tamale mixture. Our corn husks are nice and soaked and we're gonna add some water to the tamalera, which is a tamale steamer. Open up the top, remove the steaming tray, and add a few cups of water to this. Perfect, put the steaming tray back on, cover it, and make sure it starts to steam. We're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these corn husks, they're already pre-soaked, of course, and I'm gonna place a few tablespoons, maybe about like four to five, depending on the size of your corn husk, of course. And I'm gonna spread it about two-thirds way from the top and from the side, just like that. Take both ends, pinch them, fold over one end, and roll just like that. And that's it. That's all you need to really do to make one tamale. Let's open the tamalera here, put it right there vertically, and we're gonna pile them all up here in the tamalera. All right, let's make all of our other tamales. Making tamales can take some time, but if you get your friends and family involved, you speed up the process and have some fun too. Steam them for about 90 minutes, and once they cool down a bit, feel free to serve them with some grated queso fresco or mozzarella cheese. As a side dish or a main course, these pumpkin pie tamales are quite a treat. Folks, this makes me very happy. Using your Imusa tamale steamer, you can make any tamales you want, even pumpkin pie tamales. I'm George Ren. See you soon. For this recipe and many more, check out Imusa's website at www.imusausa.com.